Hi everyone, it's Elizabeth here, EAW. This is a PSA. <laughs> I wish it was, you know, like an after school warning like we got when we were kids and stuff like that. Unfortunately, it's a bigger warning about your pocketbook. So this is all about those reasoning tokens that OpenAI is now including in chat 01 strawberry. So let me get into it and I'm gonna show you, because I was curious, just what is the ratio? I'm going to show you how you can see too and see what the cost is just so that you're not using Raptor right and click, 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 and then get a sticker shock when you look at your spending in Open Router. So let's take a look. Okay, I'm going to share my screen and I have a blank project here. Now, um, the reason I'm doing a blank project is so that you guys can see completely there's no tokens selected, there's no words. And if I click my binoculars, our base. Um, prompt is 54 tokens. Now we do use a um, open AI's tokenizer and it's possible that this like different tokenizing is being used by open router and stuff. But for purposes of us comparing, um, it's still going to show you like the big gap that is these reasoning tokens. And I just want you to be aware because open AI charges them as output tokens. How do we know that? It's in their documentation. So if you go to platform.openai.com slash docs slash guides slash reasoning, you can see down here that it talks about these new reasoning tokens that are here in gray. Now, if you use chat GPT and you're playing with strawberry or chat 01, it's really hard to remember to call it 01. Um, the way chat GPT shows you is it just shows you a little bit. Let me show you. I didn't have this up because I wasn't planning on it, but um, I've been playing with uh, this chat, uh, let's see, chat 1.0 mini um, or chat 1.0 preview, the, the more expensive one. So when you're in the chat here, because they will not show you in the API, but if you do work with chat, they'll have like thought for 31 seconds. And if you drop it down, it does give you this information here. These aren't the reasoning tokens though. Or my, my, my supposition was that this is probably a short synopsis of a much longer um, response that happened. So this is like another interstitial step that's happening. So basically this is really just telling me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and so on. That's how many times that this thing went back and forth with a whole bunch of tokens back and forth um, before I got to see the final output. And I understand that they're thinking that this is better for laymen and this is really good because people don't necessarily need to see how the sausage is made. They just want to eat the sausage. I get that. But for our purposes where we're using the API or we're using like open router to access it, I if I paid for the sausage being made, I, I want that part. Like this to me, this is like there's extra sausage and you're denying me the sausage I paid for. But you may have a different opinion. So let me show you. So down here, it does tell you that while reasoning tokens are not visible via the API, they still occupy space in the model's context window and are billed as output tokens. Those are the most expensive tokens. Um, O1 preview, for example, is $3 for input, a million tokens input, and $12 for a million tokens output. Um, actually, no, I think it's even more expensive than that now that I think about it. I think that's what the, that's Mini's cost. I apologize. Preview is the price of Opus closer to Claude Opus. Um, and that one is, is, is much more expensive and we'll take a look at that pricing. But the big thing is, is that it has the ability to have up to 30, 32,000 tokens in that output area that's reasoning that you're paying for, but you don't get to keep them and you don't get to see them. That's the important thing here. So let's hop over to OpenAI so you can see my, my or Open Router so you can see my activity because that's how I'm going to access this. And you'll see that I already did this once tonight at 10.27 p.m., about an hour ago. And it'll show you the price right here that actually O1 preview is $15 per million tokens of input and $60 per million tokens of output. Now, if you're like, Elizabeth, I don't care. I think this is the best model. I'm just going to use the best model and I, I just want to run it. That's okay. This video is not for you. But if you're cost conscious, I want you to be aware before you start click, 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 click on OpenAI preview. Let me show you. So I'm over here in RaptorWrite and I'm going to put in a prompt, write for me a detailed outline for a contemporary romance novel with a secret millionaire. Pretty standard, easy prompt. I'll click my binoculars in the top right here so you can see that this is the entire prompt for sending 
it is 69 tokens. Not on purpose. <laughs> That's just how it happened. So it's 69 tokens. That's what I'm sending. Now, I'm going to come over here to the AI settings that we have. And I've got a one preview selected. And I'm going to give it the full max output that it's allowed to do just so that, well, that we have. We don't have the 32K. We'll have to update that. But we're going to give it the most amount that it can do um, at, in, inside of Raptor Write so that it, it's just free to do whatever it wants to do. So now I'm just going to click my run button and we'll let this run for just a little bit. It's doing that thinking thing that you would see it do in chat. But with this being an API call, we don't get all of that, uh, you know, searching for harmony, taking a break, baking the muffins. It, it, if you're in chat, it gives you like these little messages that are kind of adorable and funny. Um, I bet you that's why they built the summarization of, of the, the prompts and everything. Like I showed you how it had like those 14 steps. So, and the longer this goes, the more money it's going to be. Now there's already kind of an issue where the way that it's going to output, it makes it think that it didn't, but you saw that red thing come up. Um, you can ignore that. That's obviously I got a response. So I'm going to press equal, uh, thumbs up so I can keep it, all the yellow stuff. So all the yellow is what came back. And I have 1389 inside of this, but just to make sure, I'm just going to highlight the parts that came out. So just the, the actual um, outline here. Now, when I highlighted that, the total tokens I have selected is 1373. So 1,373 tokens is what I got back but that wasn't what I was charged. If I come over here to activity, you'll remember that I had one already at 1027. It is now 11.30 PM my time, so 11.29 PM. They charged me 22,918 tokens. I only got back 1,300 tokens. There's 1,600 tokens of reasoning that I just got charged for. I don't get to see them. I don't get to keep them. I have no idea like where it went off the rails or anything like that. And I think that this is a serious issue, at least for me. It may not be for other people, but I, I have problems with this. So I just paid 17 and a half cents for an outline that I don't think any of us would be like, oh, this is the best outline in the whole wide world. I mean, Prologue, a lavish tech industry gala in San Francisco, Nathaniel Clark, a successful but disillusioned tech entrepreneur is overwhelmed by the superficiality of his lifestyle. And citing incident, Nate decides to take a sabbatical, craving authenticity away from the media spotlight. Introduce, introduction to Emma Grant, who runs a quaint art studio and teaches classes to locals. Emma is passionate about financially struggling, etc., etc. Now, if we want to do this exact same experiment again and see if the preview tokens are any different in mini, all I have to do is I'll come over to the project. Um, just to keep things clean, I'll just make a new document. We'll bring this exact same prompt in, paste that in. You can see that my tokens are still 69 tokens. And over here, we'll change the model. So instead of OI preview, we'll go to O1 mini. We'll still give it like the super max that it can do. And we'll just let it go. Now this one's supposed to be faster, but it actually has the ability to use more tokens in the output, which is probably okay because it's cheaper. This one, I believe, is $3 and $12, but we'll take a look at it once it actually charges. So there we go. Um, didn't receive it. Did I'll talk to Joseph about that. This is definitely a simpler outline. Um, we have characters, and Emma and Alex have a chance to encounter that leads to several meetings. The relationship deepens, climax, falling. Out. Like This is a very generic outline. Um, when we looked at these stats and everything like that on this thing, it's still failing English um, when we looked at it last night. Um, I'm going to thumbs it up. And we did not get nearly as many tokens as we did with preview. And I, this is going to be an issue because authors are going to immediately go to that preview because you get more tokens. If I highlight the actual outline, I only got 463, or I'm sorry, 613 tokens. And if we come over to here, um, you won't see it now, but if I refresh it, You'll see the other one I did, 01 Mini. Again, I got charged for 2,600 tokens. So that outline cost me three cents. That is not an outline worth three cents. I can tell you that right now. No way, Jose. 
Um, if I click on 01 mini, you can see the pricing is $3 and $12. So it's on the same, same price structure roughly as Sonnet. Um, but I, but the difference is, is that if I was to run this with Sonnet, okay, Claude Sonnet, this is a big deal. If I go to project and I do a new document, we'll put that same prompt in this time. It's still just 69 tokens. I feel like a magician. There's nothing up my sleeve. This time let's do Sonnet. So I'll do favorite or top models and we'll, we'll go ahead and do three and a half Sonnet because that's on par price wise with the last outline that we just got stupid three cent outline 17 cent outline here's claude not a great outline at all either i would say it has less details than the other one does um but if i come over to my activity i wasn't charged for a bunch of ghost tokens I was only charged for the tokens I got. And there's a big difference between paying three cents and six hundredths, six tenths of a cent. Because if I don't like this and it's not very good, like it's not, I can literally highlight this with Rexy or with, I'm sorry, with Raptor, right click revise and say, good start. Add more details characters and motivations this needs to be more specific and exciting to readers so i'm just going to give it that input let it rerun now you'll see i'm getting many more tokens it's still going still going still going and now i'm getting a much better outline here her passion financial struggles, her best friend, Lily, mysterious new customer, um, cafe renovation. She learns he's a CEO of a, of a company, wants nothing to do, returns to CDU, buying a small tech. This has more information here that I could actually play with. I would say that this outline is definitely on par. I, I clicked it to replace it. That outline side by side to this outline is definitely on par. This one might still be a little bit more detailed, but I can, I can, I can, I, I have ways of getting like thought, uh, open AI 4.0 or 4.0 or 4.0 mini to do like this with fine tunes or even get better with that. So regardless, I'm going to say that this is still a better outline. And now as far as total tokens, we have 1,098 tokens, which is not still actually that's more tokens than I had over here. This one only gave me 470 something tokens. And when I look at the pricing, this is the difference. So this sonnet cost me two cents because I was charged the tokens, but I know because I saw those tokens and this is 2.6. So this would still be 2.6 cents versus 3.2 cents. So mini is on par with the cost of like running sonnet twice. But the difference is, is that you get to steer it if you want to. So I could have given it very specific information. I could have said like, even from the start, I could with Claude, I could have said, here's my characters and everything. I could have done that with Mini as well, but you're always going to pay more for one run of 01 Mini than you would for one run of Claude Sonnet, even though they're the same price. So even when you click on this and you go, oh, this is three $3 for a million input, $15 for a million output, and I look at 01 mini and I'm like, oh, $3 for a million output, $12 for a million, uh, $3 for a million input, $12 for a million output. You're going to think to yourself, oh, those models cost the same, but they don't. Um, every time you click 01 mini, you're actually running a bunch of prompts, but you don't know it. And you can't see those tokens and those tokens will get charged to you. Now, it may not seem like a big deal when we're talking about three cents. It's going to be a much bigger deal when you are doing big prompts of like, here's 10 chapters because O1 oh, Mini can do it and you're getting charged an extra 30,000 or 60,000. Because remember the Mini, Mini can do up to 65,000 tokens in its output, in its reasoning section with its output. So very quickly, you may be burning through money and you don't understand why. 
Now, if that's no object to you and you're like, leave me alone, Elizabeth, I just want to, to, to run the stuff that I want to run. That's okay. This is just a PSA for those of you who are cost conscious, who are using Raptor right and have your money on to open router. I don't want you to be shocked if you click, 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 click. And then suddenly your $20 is gone or your $10 is gone that you put in for the month for your, for your AI usage. So, um, does strawberry write better outlines? Yeah, I think it kind of does. I mean, it, it gives a better outline. It's I'm not paying 17 cents for that outline, but I mean, if you want to, you can, <laughs> or whatever, how much it was. Um, I don't want to misspeak. So hold on. Let me, let me double check what that number was again. So, uh, coming back here. What was it? Activity. No, it was 17 cents. <laughs> that first outline was 17 cents. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not paying 17 cents for an outline. No, thank you. <laughs> I know there's lots of people going like, Elizabeth, I paid $50 for a, a plot outline once. Yeah, I get it. But I live in a new world where I can make AI do pretty much anything. And I'm not paying 17 cents for an outline or a character list or anything else that... Um, O one one preview wants to do 20 prompts on the back end and not even give me those tokens that I paid for. I think that's the thing that aggravates me the most. I paid for those tokens. I should have them. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think. Make sure, let me know if this was helpful. Um, again, just be wary. Just make sure you're always checking your activity after you're running a couple of prompts um, when you're using new models because you don't want sticker shock. All right, take care, guys.